Hello my dear family members, today we will discuss an important coding question which was asked in Cognizant 3rd July and which was repeated, right? And this is not only repeated in Cognizant but also this was asked and repeated in Accenture exam as well, right? So let's see what's the question. So the question is regarding sub array sum triplets, right? So as you can see, uh, we had included that question in our prime materials as well. So if you would have gone through our prime materials then you could have seen this question as common in your exam right so if you want the prime materials then please knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.ef okay i will try to assist you and this is paid okay so what's the question that is you are given an array of integers containing n elements your task is to find and return an integer value representing the total number of sub arrays of size 3 such that sum of the first element and the third element is equal to the second element okay and note that continuous array part of an array is a sub array so this is the definition of sub array and here is the input specification that is an integer array of size n will be the first input and an integer value n representing the size of array will be the second input okay and this is the output specification that is return an integer value representing the total number of sub arrays of size 3 such that the sum of the first element and the third element is equal to the second element okay so here is the sample input that is 1 2 1 3 5 2 4 2 is the array and 8 is the size of the array right so sub arrays are like uh, sub, sub arrays of size 3 are like 1 2 1 3 5 2 uh, and then 2 1 3 1 3 5 3 5 2 5 2 4 2 4 2 this way right so as you can see the first element and the second third element sum is equal to second element and here as also 2 plus 3 is equal to sorry uh, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and uh, here also 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 right so first and third element is equal to second element so this way we got total three sub arrays whose first element and last element i mean third element is equal to uh, first element plus last element is equal to second element so i hope you understood right that's why the output is three so in this way you have to solve the problem so just what you have to do the your logic should be like uh, at first you will go through all the elements and you have to go up to up to what up to this element right because you are checking array i plus array i plus 2 is equal to array i plus 1 or not right so that's why you have to go through uh, go, go up to array length minus 2 element right and just uh, after checking if this is array i plus array i plus 2 is equal to is equal to array i plus 1 if this happens then increase the count like uh, count plus is equal to 1 so just after that return the count and then you will get the result so i hope you understood right so we'll solve the problem in python and java both so let's start with the java solution okay so uh, let's start with the function let's say public static and what it will return that is an integer right so integer and the name let's say triplet okay and it will contains it will contain a array that is integer array and the size okay so sorry in 10 okay so now what it will do at first we have to go through all the elements of the array right so uh, before that let's write the array so let's say int here is equal to so uh, how would we write the array this way okay so this is the sorry this is the array and this is the size of the array okay so at first i am not taking the user input i am just hard coding it okay so this way and we will just call the function so triplet okay and we will store return value inside an integer okay so int result is equal to this just let me remove this and also this and it will return an integer and this will store in result variable then we'll just print that result okay so what should we do system dot out dot print ln or print okay sorry so result and this will give our proper output okay so now what we'll do will 
write the logic here so at first we have to go through all the elements of the array like uh, array length minus two element right so for int i is equal to zero i less than array length length and sorry array length minus two and i plus plus okay and now what we'll do that is we will check if if this array i plus array i plus 2 is equal to array i plus 1 or not right so we'll check if array i plus array i plus 2 is equal to is equal to array i plus 1 or not okay so if this happen then sorry if this happen then what we'll do we'll increase a count what that is we have to initialize that at first okay so in count is equal to at first zero so then we'll increase the count if this happens right so if this happen then increase the count okay and just after the for loop return the count return count and we'll get our desired output right so I hope once okay. So so let's check it if this is giving right output or not. Okay. So for this output should be three and as expected, right? So let's make some changes. Like uh, let's say the elements are these. Okay. And the size becomes seven. So what should be output in this case? Output should be two only because only two triplets are there. Whose uh, only two sub are there? Whose first and third element sum is equal to the second element right so 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 so that's why output should be 2 in this case so let's check it check the output is 2 so i hope you understood right? like uh, so as you can see just one logic we had needed right like uh, array i plus array i plus 2 is equal to is equal to array i plus 1 so just if this happens just increase the count nothing else okay so i hope you understood right so let's go to the solutions in python and if you have not understood yet then please let me know in the comment section or you can join our telegram channel t.me slash we can now you can discuss there and if you want all the source code and some resources then please join our telegram channel t.me slash we can now you will get there more and and if you have not uh, joined our if you have not followed our instagram channel then please follow that instagram.com slash techno.ef right okay so let's discuss the python solution so the solution will be same uh sub array sum triplets this is the name of the function and two arguments it is having that is array and the size then we are running a for loop for i in range n minus 2 right so it is going up to n minus 2 element of the array then we are checking if array i plus array i plus 2 is equal to is equal to array i plus 1 if this happens then increase the count which we are now initializing here count is equal to 0 then after the for loop returning the count and we are running the uh, driver code i mean the main function here so just uh, array is equal to this and we are getting the length of the array and storing this in n variable and just we are calling the sub array some triplets function and printing that in the same okay so i hope you understood let's run it and check if this is giving proper output or not okay so output is three so let's make some changes here so as we have done there so we have removed two so now output should be two here so as expected right so because here only two arrays so two sub arrays are there whose first and third element sum is equal to second element right so i hope you understood right so if you understood then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you want the prime materials from which the question was asked you can get that yeah uh, just at 69 rupees please damn me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.ef you will get it and please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help right so thank you for today's session